This is the face of what is wrong with the new America. This is my father, a gentle, spirited man who never did harm to anyone in his life. A man who grew up in an America where he could trust people, grew up in an America that was gentle. He was a preacher, a salesman, never, never had a bad thought for anybody in his life. This man is the face of what is wrong with the new police state. We live in a police state now where cops find a hundred new reasons to intrude on the life of someone like this man who never did anything wrong, who, who almost naively trusts everyone, a smart man but still too trusting, not understanding the, 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 the powerful that are in place that want to find every reason they can to bother this man, to put this man at risk. This man is put at risk the second a cop decides that he wants to stop him for one of a hundred new post 9-11 reasons. My, my father, this man, and every face like him is put at risk immediately. Then he's put further at risk because this man is a gentleman, a caring man. This is a man who approaches people, who believes in people. This man would uses his arms when he talks, uses his hands when he talks. You couldn't get him to stop if you wanted to. He's expressive. If a police stopped him, he'd walk up toward, toward him to shake his hand, to say hello. This man is put in danger again because cops today feel that everyone's a threat. And this man is is put in danger by simply being stopped for a hundred new post 9-11 reasons and he's put in danger again because his gentle spirit is considered a threat. His movements would be considered a threat. He's put in danger twice. This is what is wrong with the new police state in America. Criminalizing people like this. Gentle, naive people like this who believed in people and still believe in people and don't understand what is happening. This is what is wrong with the new police state. A man like this and a million faces like him are put at risk because they trust people, they believe in people. They naively approach people. And you know what? The new police state considers you a threat. They want, they want to stop this man because he has to go do a hospital visit for his church at 3 in the morning. They want to stop this man because he wants to help a, a, a sick lady and get groceries for her at 4 in the morning. They want to follow him and tailgate him and put him at risk just because they want to notice him. And then they want to stop him again and they want to pull tasers or guns on him because he decides he, he, he's a gentle person that everyone is like him in America and that he's going to use his hands to talk and he's going to approach somebody and he's put in danger again. That's what's wrong with the police state in America. Without probable cause, following people, chasing people, gentle people just like this, who never hurt anyone in their life. Put them at risk just for paying attention to them because the post 9-11 America decides it wants to. And then put him at risk even further because his gentle actions, the actions of a man who never did wrong to anyone in his life, normal actions are suddenly risky actions by the post 9-11 thugs that run this country. Stop putting people like this at risk. Leave these people alone and stop considering Americans a threat. This is the face of what is wrong with the new police state. Wake up before it's too late.